Uh, excuse me, I'd like to open up an account. What type of account do you have in mind? This kind. The Old Man and the Gun is based on the true story of a very famous bank robber named Forrest Tucker. He would dress in a suit and wear an earpiece and pass himself off as a gentleman, hand a bank teller a note and say, this is a stick up. Look at that. Is he smiling? Robert Redford plays Forrest Tucker and it's his last feature acting role. It's very naturalistic, it's very lyrical, and it's just it's a really, really great movie. Need some help? No, I'm good. Let me take a look. You know anything about cars? Uh, no, not really. We shot this film on 16 millimeter and it was scanned at Technicolor and we were able to cut just off the ProRes right into Premiere. Instead of it being like a period piece, it really kind of feels like a lost film. And then you have Lisa Zeno Churgan, who is an absolute A-list Hollywood editor. I have had a fantastic experience using Premiere because I'm not an overly technical editor. It became quite easy. One of the challenges of learning a new system is learning the keyboard. I actually integrated previous systems that I've used with Premiere, so I have my own customized keyboard. That was a really fun process. Lisa is very old school and very organized and very focused on emotion and how the scene is making her feel and how to best translate that. One of the things that I've learned how to do while using Premiere is moving the clips around versus just automatically going into trim mode or just in and out. And I'm learning how to stack things on various levels. I still like things really neat and tidy. When I work on dialogue, I don't want to have to worry about all the other tracks. At the beginning, there's a six minute dialogue scene with Robert Redford and Sissy Spacek, and he has a smile that will make everybody swoon. Dialogue scenes, hearing, seeing, understanding the nuances and carving the rhythms. It's something I really like to do. Now, whenever I close the door, I think, is this the last time I'll ever have a chance to do whatever that thing was? You know what I do when the door closes? I jump out the window. <laughs> The thing that I really love about working in Premiere is that the workspaces are really flexible. You can move any of the panels wherever you want. You can change colors all you want. You don't feel constrained by the software's vision of how you're supposed to work. I had a great time working with Adobe. They've been really receptive to a lot of things in terms of some of the features that, as a feature editor, you always want things to be changing and improving. As a film editor, we want to be comfortable with the tools with which we work. Premiere is a little more visceral than other systems, and that's actually been a fun thing to learn. Once I learned the basics, the technology behind it disappeared, and I was able to just do creative storytelling. I felt so incredibly satisfied that I could say, I cut a movie in Premiere. <laughs>